There's a particular power to the desert. It's this austere beauty and this full color palette, these dry, barren summits with red and white and orange. It's also just this feeling of being here and just listening to nothing. It's silent. When you get up on top of those towers or on top of those sandstone walls, you hear nothing. My name is Jeremy Collins. I'm an artist, rock climber, and adventurer. So, 15 years ago, I was out of college. I had fallen in love with the desert. I had fallen in love with climbing, and I knew that being an artist was in my future. Randomly, I got offered a job at an animation studio, and, you know, I had this girlfriend I wanted to impress, so I took the job. 12 months into the job, my 401k was supposed to start. And 11 months in, they laid off the entire animation department. Here I was, this young guy starting my new life. And now I have a fiance and I'm laid off. And I felt very out of control. I think the thing that kept me from fully committing at that point was fear of failure and not understanding how important it was to me. And the deeper I committed to that lifestyle of traveling, climbing, going on adventures, and allowing those experiences to feed into my art, the more I understood that this was my path. I decided then and there that I would never let someone else control my reality. And so since that point 15 years ago, I've worked as a full-time artist slash climber, traveling and doing what I feel, doing what I want. There's multiple times over the years where I've been terrified by my decision to take off on my own, especially when we started building a family and they were relying on my own success. But I, I find that I thrive in those situations where there's a fear element, where there's not a guaranteed outcome. That's where I find I start to thrive and become beyond what I imagined I might be. I've gone to a number of interviews and generally speaking, when I leave those interviews, they pat me on the back and they say, you'd never fit in here. I think being liberated is a constantly evolving description. It's all relative to your current situation. To live a liberated life is to constantly question where you're at. Am I in my comfort zone and how do I get out of it? And do I want out of it? It doesn't have anything to do with an office or that job that I had 15 years ago. It has everything to do with your posture and your approach to decision making in your life. So to be liberated once doesn't mean that you won't need it again in one year, two years, or 10 years. On an expedition to China, I wrote a letter home to my son, inviting him to a life of adventure. And a part of that letter was a list of 10 things that I wanted him to know. And one of them was never let the beast catch you. The idea was that if he comes to a point in life where complacency has overtaken him, I wanted him to know that that's something worth running from and to live a life of passion and purpose. But it was also an open invitation for anyone to run from anything in their life that is holding them back, that is keeping them in their comfort zone refraining their dreams that they have from doing something bigger, farther, better in their life. 